when we're trying to release the creative potential of an organization, when we're trying to help it repattern to a higher frequency, a more creative frequency of operating, thinking, relating, learning, uh, we often look at two things and we try and intervene in a system in two ways. One which is we introduce and develop and co-create a series of organisational frameworks. Things that can help orientate the collective and create a new frequency in the collective. Things like clarity of purpose, um, what's the leadership capacity and style that's needed now to step over this threshold and take the organisation on a new journey. Um, how does the organisation learn to appreciate and build appreciation into its DNA? Um, what's the sense of the visions for the future that people can play with and create to step into the unknown and create things that are new? What do we need to stand for? What's the brand of who we are and what we want to stand for in the world? And how do we help build brand ambassadors in an organisation? Um, these types of frameworks create the uh, the rhythm and frequency and start to shape culture at a macro level. At the same time, we need to intervene with the micro dynamics, culture manifests in the moment to moment interactions. Micro skills are a way of subtly shaping and adjusting those micro interactions in the culture to help once again start to build a much more creative dynamic moment to moment. Um, these micro skills can work at a number of different levels. They're micro skills that are around the self how that I can be more present, how I can deepen my listening, how I can start to slow down and get out of the day-to-day -day chatter. Um, they can be micro skills that are around how I interact with important other relationships, whether that's in teams or with someone I'm trying to co-create a new strategy with. So it could be others, small groups, large teams. And then micro skills that are also around how you bring communities together and how to help them um, start to unlock the creative talent across multiple diverse uh, user groups. The micro skills are the things that interact the day-to-day, moment-by-moment dynamics of a culture. The frameworks are there to create the coherence and shift the collective pattern. And by intervening at both with skill and understanding how you choreograph both, you can start to shift and shape culture and unlock the creative potential of an organisation. An example of a micro school we try and weave into day-to-day -day practice is how at the beginning and the end of a meeting we slow down, we get present with one another and we check in with one another. We get a sense of where people are at and get people present and build the container so that we can then really get real cut through in the meeting and we use our time elegantly. Similarly, how do you complete a meeting where you get a sense of did we meet the expectations are we clear on the next steps? Have we felt listened to? And it's paying attention to beginnings and endings that really help create coherence and attunement and help people really move to new action. Uh, another uh, micro skill that we pay a lot of attention to is what we call creative dialogue. How do you bring diverse people together in different combinations and have a conversation that moves beyond the ping pong of opinion and where new meaning can be created and new insight can be created. And again, this is a micro skill that requires you to work with time, to learn to slow down, to expose your preconceptions and assumptions, to start to explore your belief systems, to be able to start to challenge each other, disagree with each other, work with creative tension, and allow something new to emerge in the space between you. So in and of themselves, they're really useful. But when you learn how to use them in different combinations, you can make amazing things happen.